The Husqvarna Viking Brilliance 75Q actually does a beautiful blind hem. Now, this is a stitch. You don't tell anybody your machine does this because then they're going to just expect you to do it. But I'm going to show you the tricks. So if you have to and you want to, it's actually very easy. So there is a foot that comes with the machine. So before I actually reach in, because I know what foot it is, let's go ahead and explore how we can let the machine tell us which foot to use. And there's a couple ways to do this. So number one, if we just start by going to page two of your utility stitches, stitch number 13 is your blind hem. Okay, now if you did not know that and you were just left on a straight stitch, another way you could do it is using the sewing advisor, which is so handy. And it's gonna actually get the right blind hem. Yes, there's more than one blind hem. And with this, we could tell the machine what fabric we're gonna work on. So I'm gonna set this for just a little bit thicker woven. So woven heavy fabric C. And then on the lower row, we can pick what technique we're doing. Now, as you get more comfortable with your machine or you can peek in your manual, you can also, oh, can the question mark be used down here? Aha, yes it can. So you can touch the question mark and touch any of these areas and it will tell you which what it is. So that one's the blind hem, so you would know. But if you're unsure what some of these are, you can go through that fairly quickly. Okay, fabric selected, blind hem, Technique number five, it will pick the stitch, show you the foot we need, and has actually adjusted, if it needed to, a length and a width for this slightly heavier fabric. Now let's just explore just a little bit. If we were doing this on a knit, it actually picks a stretch button, uh, stretch blind hem, heavier fabrics, um, made it a little bit wider, I think, yep, three, to four, and then it would probably, if we peek in the settings of the machine, it will have adjusted the presser foot pressure from six down to three. So that's another reason that you would actually use the sewing advisor. It is adjusting other things in the machine that you actually don't see on this page, which is awesome. Okay, back to our woven heavy fabric C. Technique number five, because the woven fabrics don't need that extra zigzag in the middle to create the stretch. We just need a normal one. Okay, next, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to fold a blind hem. So start off with your fabric and fold up about two inches. Okay, well, that's what I'm gonna do today. You're gonna have it folded and pressed into the new hem that you want it to be at. Next, we need to fold down and expose the raw edge from the back. So there's this kind of accordion fold. And as you can see by the stitch, there's this jump that's gonna jump in and that's what's gonna bite right into this fold. Now the foot is amazing. So first off, as I pull out foot D and before I put it on, I'm gonna flip it over because you're actually going to see that it has kind of on one side a higher side and on the other side a lower side. And that's because it knows that one, as we guide it, one part of the foot is gonna be on one layer of fabric and the other part is gonna be on three layers of fabric. And then all you have to do is guide the, the little toe right next to the fold. So that's what we're gonna go for. Now, if you have a thinner fabric, if you put on a thinner thread and a thinner needle, oh my gosh, it's just gonna be so blind, <laughs> you won't even see it. It's also, I mean, even if you see some of these stitches, which you will because I've got pink thread on and you'll see them, but once you match your thread, oh my gosh, it is so great. Here's a trick, if you haven't discovered this yet, if you touch the foot down button once and twice, twice brings it on the second touch a little bit up, so it's popped it up, so I can move the fabric a little left or to the right, but it's much closer to the fabric instead of it being way up here where it's sometimes hard to see. So you'll see me from time to time, push it down, push it again, pops up, move to where I need to start, and then go ahead and start to stitch. Now, as it sews, you are watching that your needle is actually biting into this fold. Now, if it doesn't, just go ahead and make the stitch width a little wider than it was. But if you've used the sewing advisor, it's actually probably made it a little wider for you anyway. 
but if you hadn't chosen your fabric, maybe not so much. But let me show you what we're after with this technique and this foot. So we can see it's kind of taken a little tiny bite into that edge. And as you pull it back, what you're looking for is consistency here. So if your first time you do this and these stitches are a little bigger than you thought, but they're all the same size, you did it correctly. Now to maybe just make the stitch width not bite so deep, will make the stitch not so wide or noticeable. But again, honestly, if you have matching thread, if it's a little deeper, you're not gonna see it. So again, it's just a matter of, you try it once or twice, you'll be surprised. It actually is pretty easy to do. And the best part is that we used the sewing machine to do this and we did not have to do it by hand. So if this is helpful, make sure you're always clicking like on every single video that, we, that you watch. And if you want to see more of our videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can continue finding our videos in your YouTube feed.